Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. Phase change materials or PCMs are materials with organic compounds that can absorb and store a large amount of latent heat energy. Thermal energy storage in PCM is obtained during the phase change process so that during the phase change from solid to liquid it absorbs heat from the environment and during liquid to solid phase change returns heat to the environment. PCMs have a variety of melting or liquidus or freezing or solidus temperature and therefore used in cooling and heating systems. These materials receive solar energy in the form of latent heat and melt in warm days and then return the heat to the environment again in the cool night by changing the phase and solidification and melting process. The present problem deals with the simulation of PCM. PCMs are embedded in a three-layer tube heat exchanger as a latent heat storage tank. The inner tube body and its fins are made of copper which has good thermal conductivity and the fluid in the inner tube is liquid silicon type and also the PCM is erythritol. Since the nature of the PCMs of the present model is based on the phase change between the two solid and liquid phases, a solidification and melting module is used for CFD simulation. The simulation process is performed over 12,000 seconds. The purpose of the present study is to investigate the fluid and thermal behavior of the phase change materials and the fluid mass fraction in the solid-liquid mixture based on the dimensions and physical conditions of the tube fins as well as the properties of the internal fluid. The three-dimensional geometry of the model was designed by Design Modeler software. The present model is consists of an outer tube with a concentric inner tube with a lower radius and eight welded fins on the body. The liquid flows through the inner tube and the inner tube and its fins thickness is considered as the wall with the PCM in the space between the two tubes. Due to the symmetrical geometry structure of the model, it is possible to simulate a 3D segment with a cross-sectional area as much as one-eighth of the original three-dimensional model. The mesh of the present model uh, is done and carried out using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is hybrid. I mean the mesh is structured in some zones and unstructured in other zones. The element number is equal to 107,780. So we click on solidification and melting button and also define a mushy zone constant that the mushy zone constant measures the amplitude of the damping. The higher this value, the steeper the transition of the velocity of the material to zero as it solidifies. Very large values may cause the solution to oscillate. The thermal properties of the erythritol as the PCM in this problem has defined uh, like solidus temperature, liquidus temperature, and pure solvent melting heat. After activation of the solidification and melting module, new thermal properties for the fluids defined in the problem will be activated. As uh, mentioned before, uh, since the melting and solidification process take place uh, within the erythritol material as PCM, it has a point of melting and solidification temperature as well as the latent heat rate of melting, 
which is a major factor in the melting and solidification process. But while the silicon liquid doesn't play a role in the phase change model process, its melting and solidification points are equal to zero with a latent heat rate. And the outlet pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Since this simulation is a transient CFD simulation, so we can plot some reports that we desired. So three different plots uh, are monitoring during the CFD simulation calculation. Uh, these are uh, heat flux report, liquid fraction report and temperature report. From the solution initialization section, we select the standard initialization and the reason is that uh, we don't choose the hybrid initialization is that our inlet is in one sole direction with just one outlet so there is no need to choose the hybrid initialization. So after selecting the standard initialization, we select the temperature uh, that relates just equal to the solidest temperature. I mean before that the calculation starts, the PCM starts to uh, melting because the temperature of the initialization is just equal to, to the solidest temperature. Select the mesh at the bottom of the surface of constant and then uh, select the Z coordinate. In this order, we can make a Z constant surface in the whole domain. This is the solidification and melting contour and this contour shows the liquid fraction. As you see in the corners, the the you know the liquid fraction is equal to zero it means that there is still solid in the corners and all other uh, of the domain is being melting and is completely liquid because the liquid fraction is equal to one in uh, almost all of the domain but the corners following this procedure uh, we can obtain the volume average of the liquid fraction in the PCM part. Here is the summaries of the problem definition and problem solving steps in the table as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training. Contact our experts via info at sign mrcfd.com.